Positive signs for Tesla and other manufacturers have been revealed when Energy X has developed the most modern lithium production technology systems by 2024. Energy X CEO Teague Egan said the manufacturer has extracted 90% of lithium from salt to put into battery cells. Not only that, Energy X has also revealed a relatively new lithium production line that's shared in detail. So, how is Elon preparing for a new partnership? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. When Tesla and Ford electric cars are losing their $7,500 federal tax credit because of lithium imported from China, this is the best time for U.S. manufacturers to look to domestic lithium manufacturing companies. Yes, we want to talk about Energy X, an Austin, Texas-based lithium mining and refining company that's emerging thanks to its strong potential. How well will lithium be mined with Energy X? It's expected that by 2030, the electric vehicle industry will account for more than 60% of new car sales. And the demand for lithium to make batteries for electric vehicles is also increasing rapidly. And the world needs at least 2 million tons. At this time, manufacturers, including Energy X, are looking for diverse ways to exploit lithium. Not only is the research casual, but the manufacturer is also very serious about lithium when outlining a clear direction that always exploits lithium in a sustainable, efficient, and cost-effective manner for electric vehicle batteries. Where does Energy X get its lithium? Without hesitation to discuss the lithium source the manufacturer is focusing on, CEO Teague Egan shares that lithium is indeed abundant in brine with many dissolved materials but primarily lithium and is found in the Lithium Triangle in South America. The lithium field, also known as the Lithium Triangle, is located between the border region of Chile, Argentina, and Bolivia. It has become one of the most renowned lithium extraction locations, specifically the Sokomich Lithium Mine situated in the Atacama Desert with estimated lithium reserves accounting for over 75% of the world's supply. How special is the salt brines in the Lithium Triangle? Teague Egan emphasized the importance of selectively separating and extracting lithium from salt brine with a filtration rate exceeding 90%, which is quite remarkable. Not stopping there, Teague also explained the concentration of lithium in normal seawater and the lithium in the supply they're researching. To provide a better understanding, regular seawater has a salt concentration of about 3.5%. But what's remarkable is that the brines that Energy X is working with have a salt concentration of about 30% many times more saline. We are informed that with this 30% salt concentration, it would be equivalent to the brine in the Dead Sea in Israel, where you can float on the surface due to its exceptionally high salinity. However, the Lithium Triangle also provides a similar brine source with extremely high lithium concentrations ranging from 400 to 2,000 parts per million, a significantly abundant ratio compared to regular sweet water, where you typically find very small units, perhaps one part per million or three parts per million. Therefore, the brine in the lithium triangle with such concentrations is a good choice for lithium extraction. Besides extracting lithium, all the dissolved chemicals, salts in the brine, such as sodium, potassium, and magnesium chloride are valuable and have useful applications in various other fields. Does the brine create challenges in lithium battery mining and production? You know, powerful things are often quite difficult to obtain. According to the CEO of Energy X, this brine water is not a surface solution that can be easily found, but an underground liquid that often lies under large dried salt lakes in areas such as the Great Salt Lake in Utah. As we mentioned, it has an incredibly high salt concentration of up to 30%. And the truth is, the higher the salinity, the faster the potential for corrosion, which can immediately lead to rusting of pipes and other materials during the extraction of this resource. A significant challenge. But a big positive side is that the brine's very safe because there are no special toxic ingredients. We appreciate this quite a lot because at least it won't cause negative health factors. And the production of lithium batteries also has less of a reputation for pollution. In short, although it allows for the filtration of a high percentage of lithium, the brine requires high requirements for its extraction and manufacturing process. So, what methods did the manufacturer use to cope? Teague talked about Energy X's technological breakthrough called Direct Lithium Extraction, or DLE. 
The traditional method allows brine water to be pumped to the surface of large evaporation ponds, covering a large area and taking about 18 months for the evaporation process to take place until the lithium salts concentrated enough and precipitated to filter out. About two to three tons of water will be lost. According to a report by Goldman Sachs, DLE is a potential game-changing technology in lithium supply, and EnergyX is doing very well. However, we also learned about DLE and learned that not only EnergyX, but many other energy companies such as Summit Nanotech and Albemarle have also invested in this mining method. But the way to maintain the ecosystem after mining, then EnergyX is always appreciated. It's important to understand that different types of brine from regions such as Chile, Bolivia, California, or Texas are all different. And there's no one-size-fits-all technology that can handle them all. Therefore, EnergyX has developed many extraction technologies beyond DLA to be able to process many different types of brine. What did EnergyX do to filter 90% of lithium from the brine? To achieve an almost 100% finished product, the manufacturer used a novel absorption technology. They used columns containing resins or absorbents in the filtration process. As the lithium throws through the column, the resin will absorb the lithium while the remaining brine will follow through. In this way, lithium can be separated from the brine, and subsequently, by flowing pure water through the resin, lithium can be released, creating a solution with fewer impurities than the original brine. This technology has the potential to eliminate a significant portion of impurities and achieve a lithium recovery rate of over 90%. After lithium has been absorbed by the resin in the column, the method to release lithium is by passing clean water through the column. However, because clean water is valuable and scarce, they have developed a water recycling method to save 80 to 90% of clean water. It was a significant breakthrough that garnered widespread attention for EnergyX. And of course, it differs from DLE, which is well known for keeping everything about the company a closely guarded secret. From the specially designed resin for this process to the design of the unique extraction system. The next intelligent technology for lithium extraction from EnergyX that we're aware of is called solvent extraction, also referred to by EnergyX as workhorse. This is another direct lithium extraction technology. The process involves using a specific molecule known as a reagent to extract the lithium from the brine and transfer it into a carrier solution. The reagent and saline water are mixed in a mixer and then the resulting solution is poured into a settling tank. In the settling device, the reagent containing lithium separates into the oil phase, while the saline water depleted of lithium settles to the bottom along with most impurities, including magnesium, kali, or sodium. This separation process is carried out in multiple stages to refine lithium from saline water and solvent extraction is crucial for concentration and purification. How has Energy X made lithium effective? Finally, there's a stage that we truly find magical. A stage that allows the transformation of seawaters into potable water by removing all types of salt, resulting in a salinity level between 3 and 12%. This is the membrane separation technology. For Energy X, they have designed their own exclusive membranes to selectively filter lithium, intending to use the membrane as a direct conversion unit to produce the final product from the solvent extraction process which is lithium chloride, and then directly convert it into lithium hydroxide. The system will comprise two areas, with inputs on the left and outputs on the right. In the middle, there will be approximately 10 membranes preventing the conversion of the two types of lithium. Lithium hydroxide is highly favored by customers, particularly Tesla, as evidenced by the fact that in the first three quarters of 2021, 100% of Tesla's lithium consumption was in the form of lithium hydroxide. Unlike the majority of other manufacturers that dispose of the excess waste source after lithium extraction, Energy X employs a mechanical control process to extract lithium with a higher recovery rate, taking only about 90 days. The remaining brine is then returned to the ground to avoid impacting the surrounding water area. In the case of Energy X, extracting lithium can result in a very small difference between the amount of water withdrawn and the amount of water reintroduced. So the impact on the ecosystem is extremely minimal, at just under 8%. As we mentioned, the wealth of soluble minerals in the brine includes sodium, potassium, magnesium chloride, and lithium. 
Sodium and potassium find applications in table salt and fertilizer production, while magnesium chloride is commonly used as road salt for de-icing purposes. If magnesium is refined to the level of the elemental metal, its value would be higher than in the form of a salt like magnesium chloride. There might be a potential for EnergyX to develop a subsequent process or technology to separate magnesium or other valuable minerals. However, currently, EnergyX prioritizes focusing mainly on lithium due to its highest value. On the path of advancing the sustainable energy industry, Teague Egan has showcased his competence through peak innovation in the extraction and purification of lithium from brine. Known as the Lithium King, Egan's propelled EnergyX to new heights by achieving an astonishing lithium extraction efficiency of up to 90%. This success is not only a source of pride for him, but also a significant breakthrough in the renewable energy sector. Teague Egan's outstanding leadership abilities have aided EnergyX in becoming a reliable partner in the lithium production industry. This has not only attracted attention from investors, but has also piqued the interest of Elon Musk, a trailblazer in the electric vehicle sector, who's now beginning to take notice. The presence of both brands with their concealed secrets is a sign of a promising future where the power of lithium will play a crucial role in the global energy revolution. Will Tesla compete or expand its partnership with EnergyX? Tesla is known as the leading lithium consumer in North America. To describe this giant, we know that the consumption is equal to four automakers, BYD, VW, Renault, and Audi combined. Furthermore, you might not be aware that the CEO of EnergyX, Teague Egan, has been a significant investor in Tesla since 2013 and Tesla was one of the initial motivations that led him to pursue the path of lithium development. With predictions for seeing positive goals for the development of electric vehicles and renewable energy sources leading to a significant increase in demand for lithium and other crucial materials in the coming decades, Egan quickly understood that the lithium production industry would need to advance new technologies to expedite the process. In theory, Tesla could be a significant customer for EnergyX when they commence large-scale lithium production. Meanwhile, Tesla continues to vertically integrate its own lithium supply. The amount of lithium that the company will produce at its facility in South Texas may or may not be sufficient to meet its demand. You know, some models like the Model 3, Model X, or Model S have gradually lost that $7,500 tax credit due to not meeting the battery and cost standards and the Cybertruck may be the next vehicle to lose this hefty income. On the flip side, Tesla also hasn't made rapid progress with the 4680 cells, at least not at the current moment. Elon Musk may not disclose it, but there's still a belief that Tesla's currently facing a shortage of lithium. That means they might still need to purchase additional lithium from current manufacturers. On the other hand, Tesla wouldn't really be a direct competitor because 90% of the lithium they produce at their own facility likely won't be sold to anyone else even if production progresses rapidly in the coming years. We've heard rumors about the Gen 3 EV being produced with a lifetime target of 42 million units, a staggering number that would certainly raise eyebrows, especially if it's intended to be manufactured at a minimal price of 25 grand. Musk has confirmed this, and the immediate question that comes to mind is whether Tesla will source enough lithium to produce 42 million units. This necessitates Elon Musk to seek efficient lithium supply partners, and EnergyX is a leading manufacturer at the forefront of lithium processing with numerous breakthroughs. GM quickly collaborated when they saw the significant potential of this company. EnergyX's mission is to drive the global transition to renewable energy. That's why they've developed an entirely new approach to lithium mining and refining. Everything EnergyX does starts with a goal towards sustainability. It's noteworthy that Tesla, as an early innovator in sustainability with a leading electric vehicles, is a fitting match. The CEO of EnergyX acknowledges that he became an early investor in Tesla in 2013 for this main reason. Its stated mission also includes efforts to accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. Given that both EnergyX and Tesla are actively investing in the future of energy, it seems that the alignment of paths between Tesla and EnergyX leans more towards collaboration and mutual development rather than market competition. EnergyX's main customers are small lithium manufacturers like Tesla and resource owners seeking to implement new technologies for production. They collaborate with these customers to provide the most resource-efficient lithium extraction processes and create sustainable solutions for lithium battery-grade materials. 
EnergyX has designed and patented scalable deployment methods to reduce costs and produce lithium at the lowest cost in the market. How? It all comes from salt brine. Their proprietary lithium extraction processes can complement existing infrastructure, offering direct and exclusive methods for lithium extraction. Batteries are a driving force in the electric vehicle revolution and are also crucial to support the increasing demand for clean energy storage such as wind and solar power. EnergyX is developing solid-state electrolyte battery solutions to increase energy density in chemical battery compounds, which is something Tesla is also looking for. Furthermore, through EnergyX's unique extraction process, they can directly produce lithium metal from salt water and have it ready for use as a cathode. In other words, EnergyX remains a potential supplier of various lithium materials for Tesla in the future. This makes them more of an industry collaborator than a direct competitor. EnergyX can extract lithium from almost any type of salt water anywhere in the world. We believe that Tesla primarily sources raw materials for its lithium plant from hard rock mining companies. This is different from the saltwater-based lithium resource that EnergyX is focusing on. Moreover, EnergyX's lithium extraction process is more environmentally sustainable than all current methods, including hard rock resources. The elements that would normally be discarded as waste during extraction, such as acids and chemicals, are intended to be reused within a closed-loop system, resulting in a reduced overall environmental footprint. Similar to EnergyX, Tesla states that their facility will be acid-free and employ fewer toxic testing agents during processing. Before concluding, we'd like to elaborate on several reasons that underscore why we believe EnergyX and Tesla should be considered collaborators rather than competitive adversaries. Firstly, both companies have manufacturing plants and testing facilities in Texas. Secondly, they're both innovating in the field of energy materials. Thirdly, both are reevaluating the lithium refining process with the goal of reusing rather than discarding byproducts. Fourthly, both companies are investing in creating opportunities for the workforce in Texas. And lastly, they're both striving to address the climate change issue by promoting the transition towards a greener future. So, how do you feel about lithium under EnergyX's mining methods, and what do you think if Tesla and EnergyX will have a handshake in the near future with many goals towards sustainability? We look forward to your thoughts. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting that bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.